Welcome to another episode of Real Estate Investing Explained. Here's today's question. So if you could go back and do it again, would you have skipped the active side of your investing? Would you have just save, save, save all your money until you could have invested in passive deals? Or would you go through that active piece of it again? That's a great question. You know what? At the end of the day, if you're going to be a passive investor, it comes down to having enough investable assets, enough money to make it make sense. You know, I always use this example. If, if all you have to invest, period, is $25,000, you probably don't want to be a passive investor because you're going to get this you know, $125 a month cash flow. Big deal. You get to cover your cell phone bill passively. And it's just not that inspiring. I don't think that would have motivated me to push on and continue. I think at the point where you've got substantial assets to invest, it makes a lot of sense. When you start seeing, you know, a thousand a month or three thousand a month, four thousand a month. Now all of a sudden it's like, hey, wait a second. In a couple of years, I could replace my job with this income. I could retire early with this income. You know, this is starting to mean something. So I would say focus first on income and saving and investing and investing in yourself, right? Your career business, fix and flip and house, whatever it is you do for money, it doesn't matter. But, but focus on that and getting your money right. And then when you have enough, think about passive. Because really, at the end of the day, how else are you going to retire? Everyone's got to go passive anyway. Everyone needs cash flow and income anyway at a certain point. Why not start that process early and then maybe retire early or something like that with it? That's all for this episode of Real Estate Investing Explained. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook or subscribe to our YouTube channel to get even more free content.